Hello everyone, welcome back to Final Fantasy. Uh, we're going to take another crack at the final boss here. Uh, so we'll start out by me making my way back through everything, which I'll show in a sped up manner, because it's not going to be exciting. And yeah, alright, look forward to that I guess. Alright, so we are now here. Uh, let's do that. And then we will go ahead and use an ether. Just for the sake of being all there. If this doesn't work, uh, we will. Um, I don't know what we'll do. But we've already been through this cutscene before, so. Alright, so here we go. Uh, we gotta use, we've been through this before, we gotta use the crystal, Palm and Porum. Come here, yeah, and they uh, do that. Right, we go through all this too. There's Edward and Ghost of Tella. Tella is dead for real, because he's so old, I guess. Yeah, and there's Yang and uh, Sid. No one's praying for me, though. The moment I see those bars moving, I'm going to put down a safety. I mean, hopefully this doesn't take multiple attempts, but, um... Yeah, sorry for uh, spoiling the mood here, but... Like I said, we've already been through this, so... I think the, everyone should defend, yeah, until we can use the... I guess you can probably jump here. Because then Cecil can use the crystal. Yeah, and then Keen will have a jump loaded up here. Gurguga. Yeah, I didn't know you could, like cast Cure on the group until just now. Okay, you defend for now because everyone's still on full. Uh, you want to throw... You can throw a lance, I didn't know that. And it says to maybe consider using Flare with Radia, so we'll try it. Throwing... Oh, that did a whole lot, okay. These numbers already are looking pretty good. 8,000, okay. I mean, how much does he do in, in Reflexive? 3,000 in Revenge. You just attack. Uh, you throw another one of those shurikens, because they did good. We will, uh, Bakiraja you for now, because you're the victim here. Maybe flaring is bad because, like, maybe cure up whoever she targets next. Yet, yeah, and Sridia, so. You jump, because that is how you, what you do. You attack, because that's what you do. Yeah, those shurikens are putting in some good work here, too. Oh, is Ricky gonna die because I messed up? Not quite, but... Uh, we'll keep flaring. If this does come back to... cause me regrets, then I will... Uh, do something about it. But for now, we'll just keep on going on. 
Can we, uh, Kiraja? Like that. Let's do it. Let's see how it works here. So I've never actually done it in so far in the game. Okay, that's also very helpful. That probably would have helped to know I could do that earlier, but it's fine. Huh? That's not it, is it? There's a, aren't there phases to this? And say, I know I grinded, but I didn't think it was that much. Yeah, no, there's another phase. Not perish, grow. Is there another phase? Did I grind that much? Yeah, sorry, I'm just, I've been traumatized before. There's another phase, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. I don't know. <laughs> it's etching me out <laughs> properly here. I don't know if he's gonna if there's another phase or not. And it, I don't know if this is just like a fun closing cutscene or if there's another phase in this faking mode. I legitimately cannot tell. Don't like that sting. Is this the end? Was that the final boss fight? I still can't tell. Aren't you gonna go and then he comes back? Was that the whole fight? So I should pay attention to the story regardless. Okay, big dramatic moment. We're brothers, apparently. Yeah, mm. I'm giving him a thank you despite his brainwashedness. Is that the end? Oh, oh. I guess I overgrinded. That's kind of a shame. I could have. All right, yeah. My the fact that I'm so new to Final Fantasy games really did kind of come back to bite me there in the end because I went from being way underprepared to being way overprepared. But hey, we made it through. That's what matters. After editing this section, to be pretty short, so I'll give my closing thoughts here on the game. I wrote them down somewhere because I had like a whole bunch to talk about and then I can't actually find them here. But yeah, first things first, I know. Um, this was my first Final Fantasy game that I've ever played in full. So, like, throughout I've made a lot of very like serious mistakes. Such as this, and I feel like it shows it did kind of like hinder my ability to enjoy the game. I feel like that's as much my own fault as anything, because like, like I said before, with Pokemon games, I know the ins and outs, all the mechanics, so I can just like play through them and get the full shebang out of them, no problem. My closing monologue might be interrupted by some cutscene here, but we'll see. So yeah, I feel like as much of this was my own fault as the games, I feel like this is another game where I feel like if I play through it again, I could enjoy it a lot. Okay, text is advancing on its own. So let's uh, let's watch the cutscenes here. You know what, I'll say I am glad Palm and Porum are alive. As much as I like to rag on them, I, they are another characters that um did work for me. All right, it does advance on its own. So this is all one big cutscene, essentially. Yeah, he's bragging to a woman. Well, I don't, probably a girl, I don't know how old she is, but... 
I, I don't know what to say here. I mean, this is fun. This is good to help give the game some closure at the end. Edge, Edge needs to be overthrown as a king. We don't need kings anyways, but I cannot imagine that... Okay, Prince, even worse. Get, get him off the throne. This man does not deserve power. Who was Seneschal again? Like, I, he's clearly his helper, but did we meet him in the story? He must have at some point. Uh, don't, don't ship them. No. No, I forbid it. I see myself as Vidya's father figure. You are a gross, weird little man. Do not, do not, we're not doing this. Oh, well, what's what's Rydia doing? Because all her family's dead. The Hydaldon. Who are these people? Because I know Rydia's family is dead because we, we killed them. Who are any of these people? Yeah, but what, what is this? Faymarch. Did we go there? Also kind of weird to say. Yeah, do your weird little spin. <laughs> Alright. Now is Cecil here too? No, she just talking to his ghost. Gang! Okay, I guess I am glad he's alive. He's, he wasn't ever super excited. Is that his wife? It is. Alright, I'm glad he's alive for the sake of his wife. Okay, well, not that glad then. Oh, I guess I guess they mean it in like a sweet way, but still, dude, you can be a little nicer. All right. Um, he's training. Is standing five inches away from his uh, throne and start throwing attacks out. I guess shadow boxing is the technical term for it. Yeah, just saying words here. Okay, um, I hope someone needs to bomb his castle again, Edward. You were, Edward? That would be like a good challenge when trying to beat the final box with Edward, I think. Like, is he just like forever useless? It sure seems that way. Who, who are these children? Oh, what? Okay, whatever. Getting kind of weird vibes. You just got like... Got a big squad of children for you in your house. Right, your uh, wife's dead. Well... Whatever. Sorry, but the glitches there in the audio. Uh, Alright, that was a fun scene. All right. Dwarf King and his daughter, they're, they're cool. Lally Ho, I, I still don't know what's up with that, but, oh right, your name is Gat, I forgot about that, that's, that's one point off for you, but that's not really your own fault. What do you mean, you're dwarves, you live in the dirt, can't you just like go grab some, it's all dirt, you can just go stick it on your castle or whatever. I, I, I don't know how masonry works, as you can tell, but... Luca. They're dead. Nope, just kidding, they're... Alright, that's fun. Kinda outdated that everyone's being rewarded by being a king and queen, but I guess it is supposed to be like a... Kind of Middle Ages fairy tale style stuff. I like that attitude, too. Like, I will be honest, I've been saying that kind of to myself to help me motivate stuff, like just, you know, if I ever feel like guilty about like, you know, doing whatever, just be like, yeah, I can do whatever I want and do it. I mean, unless you're trying to do something bad, but I, I wouldn't be like that. 
everybody? Oh, he wants to be a paladin too, and then he'll be deemed. It's kind of cringe that you gotta be, like, purified through, like, ho ritual holiness before you can are worthy for your friends, but it's up to you, my man. Who are these two? I, they, were they the ones to tell us about, like, the moon? It's still as funny that we went to the moon as, like, the final set piece, like... I appreciate it. It definitely adds a cool, like, vibe, otherworldly vibe that would contrast with the otherwise, like, standard, um... fairy tale medi medieval ages vibe that this game has. Also, does the Earth have two moons in this, in that cutscene? But, um... Yeah, it's cool that there's like a spaceship and you go to the moon, but it is kind of out of nowhere. Definitely didn't see it coming. Do I have to advance this or is this just like a thing? Why is why are we seeing this here? I'm gonna press the button now. Not doing anything. All right, I guess this is just a long cutscene, theoretically. Oh, okay. Yeah, we had to wait to see that. You know, it doesn't just happen whenever. You gotta wait for the moon to go by the camera dramatically. There's some flowers there. Oh, is this our, like, the royal bedroom? There's two beds here. I guess there's two beds because it's from, like, the original scene and, um, like, from the, um, game application, but it's kind of funny having like the haze code style implication of us sleeping in two separate beds. Are we about to be married and or coronated? I think coronated, given being in front of an audience, but um, whatever. So it's here too. Said was cool. These two are all like fun characters. Okay, they're getting married. I guess because they're royalty, they're getting married in a public setting. <coughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, I guess in game, you two would also know, like, some people in the kingdom where you grew up and lived and are ruling. Pretty reasonable thing to expect. But this is this is nice as a closing cutscene. Like this is feels like a proper reward for the player. Who invited Edge to the wedding? Like that's asking for trouble. Yeah, thank you, Sid. Mm-hmm. Once again, I don't really know what's happening here. I guess they were talking to them, and then they're standing in their place. Yeah, I think that's what's happening. Where's your wife, Yang? Where, that's a good question. Where is your wife? Pal and Porum, they're jumping around. Uh, the, the boy one's being a troublemaker, pretty fun. This is nice. And it's, it's the Elder, everyone's favorite character, the Elder. You like, you like bald men with ponytails? Oh, and then Edward, you know, we're really just scraping the bottom of the barrel here for who we're inviting to our wedding, I guess. And it's ready yet? Yeah. Oh, Ed just gotta look away, I guess. And he's acting all flustered. All right, and she stands a good deal away from him. That's for the best. I guess Yang's wife is in the crowd. There's officially not enough room for her based on how they're organizing the um, sprites. And everyone waves to the camera. All right, that's that's sweet. That's fun. And that was a really good uh, way to end off the game. I will say. And now the credits. Now I can give my closing thoughts. All right. Yeah, fun game. Had a lot of trouble with it. Pretty much exclusively, or predominantly, my own fault for not being familiar with like the 
standards of like Final Fantasy games. It's like I've said multiple times, this was my first Final Fantasy game ever, so... Hopefully as we go on to play more of them eventually, I'll be more familiar with like the um... standards of the game. I'll know how much to grind for the final boss and that like we probably, if I got all the right equipment, we probably could have gone right there. Like, I feel like we kind of didn't ever get to see the bo final boss in a proper context, and that's my own fault, but... Yeah, alright. Anyways, um, what else? Yeah, like Pokemon, I want to kind of like rank these games as I go through them. Like I've said multiple times already though, this is my first one, so it's kind of like I don't have anything to rank it against, and I don't really have any good frame of reference for it yet, so... Yeah, and like I said, I don't, like, I don't really have a good frame of reference, but not only compared to other Final Fantasy games, but other, like, RPGs in general outside of, like, Pokemon, so... Yeah, um, it was a good learning experience, hopefully... Hopefully I have learned, though, properly. Um, the other thing I guess I'm going to talk about is, uh, what is going on with the Final Fantasy franchise from here. So, this, we played this as like a bit of respite since Colosseum was, to be honest, a lot worse than I expected it to be. But um, we're going back to Pokemon up next to play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, which I am personally very excited for. Um, I don't know when we'll be revisiting the Final Fantasy franchise next. Probably like, like it's gonna be whenever I get tired of Pokemon. I don't expect that to be after Mystery Dungeon. It could be. And after Mystery Dungeon, we're playing Ranger and then XD Gale of Darkness. If XD Gale of Darkness is similar to Colosseum, we'll probably after that we'll play Final Fantasy again. The next time we play Final Fantasy, like I did play for. Com on PSP with a complete collection to have the ability to play uh, the intermission and the after years. I do want to play those eventually, I think, but I think it's probably for the best right now if next time we play we go right to Final Fantasy V for a few reasons. First off, I've heard that um, the intermission after years are significantly harder than Final Fantasy IV. And that its plot is just very similar and kind of like reductive. And as much as much as I love the plot of this game and had fun with it, I feel like I don't want it to wear out, you know? Uh, and the other big thing too is like, I have a lot of Final Fantasy games to get through. You know, like, it's, they're on what, like 18 now or whatever, so. Even starting at 4, even not playing the MMORPGs, I still have quite a few of these to get through, so. I feel like for now, we're mostly going to be focused on playing all of the main numbered ones, and then maybe when we're done, we're caught up or get as far into it as we can get with my recording setup. Then we'll come back and maybe consider playing uh, Intermission in After Years. Like, the game did do a good job of um, making me feel sentimental towards these characters. Better than, to be honest, I thought it was going to be. But, um, like I said, I don't want to wear things out here, so... Uh, for now, we will go back to Pokémon. When we get tired of Pokemon, we're gonna play five, and so forth. And I think I do. I do have to research into them. I can't promise anything for now, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna play the next few, however many Final Fantasy games on the original hardware. Like I said, I played this one on PSP for the purpose of being able to go right into the intermission after years if I felt so. And like if I do feel them playing eventually, I do I would like to play it on the same console as the one I played 
uh, Final Fantasy IV, the original, on, so... But I don't think 5 or 6 even has, like, a... any, like, sequel tie-in games. I don't think they went into that again until... Final Fantasy VII, when they went full cash grab, so... Um, yeah. That's what to look for. That's what to expect for the future Final Fantasy games and that. Yeah, I don't know what else to say here. Like I said, like I, said I think I gave all my thoughts for Final Fantasy IV. Good, um, good character writing, good characters, good... I mean, what to ex the setting is what you'd expect. I personally prefer, prefer like, the more kind of, like, modern settings, but I get why they went with what they did for, um, the setting. Why do they have the Square Enix? Oh, is that, like, the heading for this part of the credits? Because I always think it's, like, the, they typically end the credits with the studio's logo, and I've seen that, like, five times now, but... Yeah, I get why they went with the setting... I'm kind of looking forward to the more modern setting games, but, um, I respect it. I respect what they went with here. Character writing was good. Gameplay, it was kind of unintuitive for me a lot of it, like I said. I think it is a good deal of my own fault. I mean, like, Pokemon doesn't do that much better of a job explaining its mechanics or anything. I just have played it and read about it for so long that I know all the details just off heart pretty readily. And hopefully as the series progresses I'll be able to get that same kind of intuition up for uh, this game. I'm yeah, definitely glad I played it. Final Fantasy is one of those games that like everyone talks about a lot and so I feel like, you know, It's a good frame of reference to have played them for yourself at some point in your life. Probably. So, that's what I'm uh, here to do. Nobuo Uematsu. The music was good. I know, like, Final Fantasy VI, and I think VI mainly is famous for having really good, exciting music. But this was, this was good. I think... Looking for, I think the next two Final Fantasy games too are like kind of more of the same in a sense. Like they probably they have like different plots, of course, and characters and different moods, I think, and all that. But like in terms of like the general art style and mechanics, as far as I know, they're the same. Is that the final? You see, is that the Square Enix logo that ends it off? So, um, I don't know. I don't know what my point is. Look forward to that eventually. This was a lot of fun. I, I'm really glad I played this. I definitely enjoyed it. I definitely had a good time. Enjoyed myself with this. Going to press a button now to advance it. Yep. Oh? Huh? Why is there a face there? Is that supposed to be like the Mars face? I did not expect this to be happening once it said the end, but sure. Okay, that's exciting. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I didn't expect there to be the bonus dungeon, and um, I'm not doing it anytime soon. Maybe when we come back into this game, we can, um, play that and get excited about that. Okay, uh, this is fun, I guess. I don't know what the deal is here with this, but... Oh, we missed a few. That's fine. Um, yeah. Alright. This was, uh... This was fun. We had a good time. Glad I played it. Theoretically, at some point in the distant future, we'll come back and play the bonus dungeon, as well as the intermission in the after years. That time is not now. 
That is a beautiful logo, I will say to you. Like the, the guy there, the font they used, the drawing in the back. Loving the vibes of this. And yeah, really, go, really glad I played this. As always, thank you for watching. Next time I look forward to the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon.